What's up, everybody? This is Mike the Quad here, and we are doing our first ever tutorial for Elgato. And we are going to be connecting the Wavelink to the Stream Deck. We already have our Stream Deck program open. And what we're going to go ahead and do is go to the store. Click here. The store opens up. Now let's go and type in, start typing in Wavelink. You can see there's a plugin and then there's icons. I went ahead and installed the icons so I can have them. And we'll go ahead and adjust the icon once we get everything set up. But let's go ahead and in install the plugin for the Wavelink. It's going to ask us to install. Now it's going to ask us to install profiles to the device. And we're going to go ahead and install those. You go ahead and look over to the left. You're going to see different profiles loading up. You now have a monitoring profile and a stream profile. The stream is going to be what the stream hears and monitoring is going to be what you hear only. Let's go ahead and go to monitoring and you can see that each of the active channels that are on and you can hear the music in the background. And what we can do is if we click this, now the music is muted. If I want to unmute the microphone, now, now you hear me. Check, check, check. Go ahead and turn that down. Now this icon over here on the right is showing that it is on monitoring for what we hear. We want to adjust the volume for the stream. Click it once and then now I'll say stream and I'll have a different icon. There is one thing that I want to do, actually two things that I want to do. I want to add, go down to the Wavelink option and we're gonna go ahead and click Output. I'm gonna go and put that right here and then you can see, you can toggle the output monitoring. So if I click that, this right here would show what it is monitoring. And that is corresponding to, if we bring the Wavelink up, this right here. So if I hit that button again, you can see the switches. Now it's switched again. And what we wanna do is, we'll go to this right here. I'll go ahead and minimize this. And then I'll also put the output right here. And then we'll also adjust the toggle on the output. So now it doesn't matter what profile we're on here. It'll stay the same on the headphones and we could switch it. And it stays the same. And then we could switch it right there. That makes it a little bit easier. Now, when we go to home, it's going to bring us over to our default profile. Now we are in our default profile, but how do we get back into the Wavelink plugin? Well, you want to go over here to navigation, click this. Instead of create folder, you want to switch profile. And we'll put it right here, and this icon pops up. We want to switch this over to monitoring because that is what we're going to be hearing. And then also, from the icon pack, we want to go down here to open stream deck icon library. A whole bunch of icons will pop up and specifically we want to use this one, Wavelink. We click it and we close it. Now when we go ahead and click Wavelink, it will go to our Wavelink plugin. And this right here specifically, it goes straight to monitoring. And then when I click it here, it goes to stream and then I can adjust it from there. And it shows what's on and what's uh, muted. And you could go back over here and you can see. So that's pretty much it um, for our first tutorial on the Wavelink. If anybody has any questions, go ahead and post them down in the comments and I'll be able to answer them. Thanks again. I'll see y'all later.